the idea that I'm still here doing my fourth Fast and Furious is like, it's a huge surprise to me. I would never have like just assumed, you know, I'm going to be in four Fast and Furious <laughs> movies. Um, yeah, it, but it's so wonderful like that they, um, that the fans have connected with Ramsey and, and then I get to keep coming back and having more adventures. So yeah, it's really exciting. It's really, really wonderful. And when I think about when I got that phone call to say, you're in Fast and Furious 7, like I don't know if I would have seen, foreseen everything that's happened since, you know, so it's, it's great. One of the main things I hear from fans about Fast and Furious is how it really is a family affair. Like it's something that they do with their family. Like, oh, a Fast and Furious movie's come out. And so everyone kind of gets together and watches. And I was in a yoga studio like many years ago. Well, it's not that many years ago, but a few years ago. And there was a, a young woman in the class and she was like, oh my gosh, I love Fast and Furious. It's something I go and watch with my brothers. We all get together. It's like our thing that we do as siblings. And um, and that was a really beautiful moment because I was like, I realise how, for if you think about the, the span, uh, the many years that these movies have been going, like there's entire generations that have grown up with them. So when she said that to me, I really kind of felt that legacy of like, she's grown up with these movies and her and her brothers. And I just thought that was really special. The one thing that I love hearing about Ramsey is how she's just such a badass. Like, everyone in these films are a badass, right? They've got the cars, they've got the fighting and everything. And Ramsey's just like super, super smart. And and to ha have a woman who is so brilliant, like genius level at tech, which is, you know, women are very underrepresented in that field. Um, I've I've always enjoyed people to, like celebrating that and telling me how much they love her kind of brilliance and her intelligence and yeah, that makes me smile. I think that my just general, I guess, taste and sometimes like kind of dark twisted mind at times is like really into the slightly open-ended like what's gonna happen, not a nice happy ending with a bow on that, you know, tied on it at the end that I, I when I read that I was like that's really cool it keeps everybody um on their toes it keeps the fans on their toes it's a completely different energy to what we're used to these films ending um as and so I I'm really I'm sort of really interested to see how people are going to react to that because there's a lot of our characters that we don't know whether they're safe or not we don't know what's happening we it, it it's really left in a state of kind of disarray and you know we haven't been as successful as we're used to seeing this team be and that's kind of scary